Happy Freedom Friday to all of my Taurus. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it, Taurus. I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. Anywhere in your birth chart. Happy full moon phase. We're in a full moon phase, so you still have time to do your full moon rituals, whatever they may be. You can look them up on uh, um, on Google. You can Google full moon rituals besides setting out your gemstones and crystals, making protective amulets, harvesting herbs, you know, those kind of things. All right. Now that the moon is fully illuminated and the moon, we had a full moon in Cancer. Cancer is already ruled by the moon. So those dreams should be super vivid to almost to a point that you may even feel drained. Like, okay, I need some extra sleep because, oh my God, right? Um, just the dreams and downloads that are coming through. And it's also a good time to journal those dreams too, right? Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what's leading the deck. The energy has already been clear. Somebody's going through a tower moment. You're going through a tower moment. You're going through an awakening. Whenever you go through a tower moment, this is attached to Mars. Mars, Mars is the, the energy planet. So source is saying, are you putting your energy towards your purpose or are you putting your energy towards something else that's draining you, right? So you have to decide. Tower moment is not really a bad thing. So my, here we have the justice card. Remember you in Libra, this is Libra's card. We're not talking about any Libras that you know are actually ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics, all those things, right? And so somebody has gone through so much, so many Judas spirits, you survived a lot. So now you have to decide it's time for me to thrive without all of that drama in my life. Like without all that drama, I can thrive, you know, um, and that's where your breakthrough is going to come in. It's like I survived a lot. Now it's time for me to move on, not to go back to put my energy towards this right here, driving myself crazy. Here we have the um, ace, the eight of swords. So it could be um, an air sign that you're thinking about, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, somebody, or you could have that in your birth chart. And so source is saying to you, now you can put all your thinking into an additional stream of income. That's what source has been trying to tell you is that if you don't know what your, um, if you don't know what your purpose is, it's to add source. Like, why am I here on this planet? Why do I keep going through certain things? What was, what is it meant to teach me? What was I supposed to learn from that? Those are prayers too. So that's what source is saying to you. And so source is saying with all your intellect, I'm sending you all of this money, this information about legacy, 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 wealth. What do you want to leave behind? Do you want your legacy to tied to be tied to a bunch of drama? Or do you want your legacy to be tied to your name being associated with Let's say, for instance, you being a professor or you being, a, I don't know, whatever, being an entertainer, you all, you're ruled by Venus, 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 and you and Libra are ruled by Venus. And so source is saying somebody's definitely having some kind of an awakening, right? Source is saying it's harvest time for you. It's time for your money to start growing. This is where you want to put all your time into positive, nothing negative, no negative talking about people. Put all your intellect and your power in growing your money. That's what Source has been trying to tell somebody. So, yeah, however you're going to grow your money. Money is not everything, but it definitely is a resource that can help you to create jobs and opportunities for other people. And so Source is saying that sword cuts on both sides. That was you before, you know. That was you before looking into, you know, just kind of sort of feeling restricted, self-sabotage. How come I'm not getting this? What is wrong? How come I'm not getting the message? Remember, Mercury is currently retrograde right now. I did a whole retrograde series on my second channel. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. it it's free information. <laughs> free If you want to educate yourself, it's free information over there. And if you don't want to go watch that, go Google it. What does retrograde mean? Because it certainly doesn't mean planets move backwards and they, and they don't move at a slower pace. Yeah. Um, judgment card. So this could be some kind of, um, judgment against, um, possibly an Aries, um, in your card. Um, some, some kind of a demonic attachment. This is Aries card. And then this is a devil card, right? So some kind of temptation, something was tempting somebody like some, something is, um, or you could be in on the cusp of Aries. Anyway, the, the bottom line is that source is saying, I'm giving you some time to pull it all together. Somebody's going to feel lucky when they focus on their purpose because there's so much money somebody's leaving on the universe table. Time is money. And if you're dedicating your time to something else and it's like, okay, I wish I had a soulmate. I wish I had a soulmate. 
be the energy you desire to attract. You got to first know what your soul wants, because if you're just kind of out there floundering, I just want somebody, I want some, I want to feel good. I just want to feel better and so on and so forth. So it's to say, direct your energy towards your purpose and everything you need is in that light. Step into the lights, step into the light. All right, here we go. First question is, do you connect to your core or your center daily? Second question is, how do you express your creative side? Third question is, is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? Fourth is, do you protect your energy and your time by politely saying no to requests and invitations that are not aligned to your being? And then fifth, uh, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? Taurus, please do not forget to comment under the videos. Um, here we have the number 10. I am ingenious. You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and it allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry things out. That's what source is trying to tell somebody. A Scorpio could have been involved because I'm saying the judgment card, it could have been an Aries also involved in something. And, um, somebody has some kind of demonic tie. Like you can think for yourselves. And something was very unhealthy and very wounded about the whole situation. And so Source is saying to you, Source is giving you some time to start really thinking for yourselves. Get away from any energies that's wasting your time. Speak up for yourselves. Like that's what Source is trying to tell somebody. It's like speak up for yourselves and stop letting other people try to control you with their way of thinking, their toxic way of thinking. Let's close it out. Here's the last card and let's move on. Because that's what I'm saying for you all, financial independence and focusing on your legacy. You want to unravel yourself from people who are ruining their legacy. I deserve success. And you do. Success in your love life, success in your work life, in your personal and your in both areas of your life. We're talking about the justice card. We're talking about balance. Balance, balance healthy work-life balance. Somebody actually deserves that. And so if that's what you want, speak it into existence. Because if you're speaking anything negative, you're speaking that into existence. And that's what will come back to you. So source is protecting you for a reason, Taurus, because giving you an opportunity to attract the things that you know that you deserve, right? All of this wealth of knowledge and information, you absolutely deserve, you know, a soulmate in your life. You absolutely deserve wealth in your life. You're certainly extremely smart. But this right here, when somebody's like looking in the mirror, this is a person doing the mirror work. It's like, okay, I, I forgot my vision. I forgot what my purpose was. I forgot, right? This is nine because there's so many nightmares. Like I, I somebody keeps putting you know, nightmares flowing through the air. People keep talking about stuff. And so source is saying it's time for you to move on. That's what I have for you, Taurus. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.